So I want to talk about a trend that we see every single year in the month of June, rainbow washing. And to me, this is really irritating because what's happening, uh, and this is not like uncommon in a late stage capitalist society, but what's happening is we're seeing the co-optation of pride by large multinational corporations. And it's irritating because like to me, as an out and proud member of the LGBTQ plus community, maybe I want to change like the humanist report logo to the rainbow flag or something like that. But I feel like, Oh, if I'm, if I'm doing that, I'm virtue signaling to the extent that large multinational corporations are. And I want to be more substantive than that. But I mean, like these little gestures I think are important. Like the rainbow flag is something that we should be proud of, but yet these large corporations, it's like they hijacked it. And to me, there's something so inherently gross about that. And I'm seeing more and more members of the LGBTQ plus community speak out against this because it, this isn't their thing. They're very clearly trying to cash in on pride because it's trendy now when they wouldn't say anything when gay people were actually fighting for equality. During the 2000s, you'd never see Levi's or whatever this company is, or AT&T speak out in favor of gay rights. But now that it's socially acceptable, well, they do it because they know they can make money off of it. And the worst part about all of this is that conservatives use this, this rainbow washing as evidence that corporations are woke. And it's, it's all super frustrating. But I want to show you that these corporations, they're not actually woke all they're doing is they're LARPing as LGBTQ plus allies, and it's time that we say, no, fuck off, I reject this, we don't accept you being a fake ass ally. So Nathan Place of The Independent writes, Walmart, Amazon, and McDonald's have all donated to members of Congress who voted against the Equality Act, according to Insider. Comcast, UPS, and AT&T have each donated over $2 million to anti-gay politicians, according to Forbes. The list goes on, and all of these companies have declared their support for Pride. This month, we'll be celebrating and highlighting the people within our McDonald's family that embody the spirit of LGBT. LGBTQ plus pride, McDonald's tweeted on June 1st. Happy Pride Month. Here's how we're celebrating the LGBTQ community across our organization, Comcast tweeted on the same day. Forbes also listed six other corporations that it says have donated hundreds of thousands of dollars to anti-LGBT politicians. Home Depot, General Electric, FedEx, UBS, Verizon, and Pfizer. All six of these have voiced their support for gay rights as well. A spokesperson for Amazon defended the donations, saying the retailer engages with policymakers and regulators on a wide range of issues. That does not mean we agree with any individual or political organization 100% of the time on every issue, the company explained. And this includes legislation that discriminates or encourages discrimination against the LGBTQ plus community. Separately, Pfizer defended its donations to Republicans as well. The decision to contribute to these elected officials was made based on their support of the biopharmaceutical industry and policies that protect innovation incentives and patients' access to medicines and vaccines, just say deregulation and patent protection. The company told Forbes, in no way does our support translate into an endorsement of their position on any social issue. UPS made a similar case for its own donations. Few policymakers agree with each other or businesses 100% of the time, nor do we agree with 100% of the congressional members' opinions, it told Forbes. Meanwhile, the rainbow logos continue to shine. Yeah, so this is irritating to me because they very clearly want to have it both ways. On one hand, they want to continue to fund anti-gay and anti-trans politicians because they want their tax breaks, they don't want to be regulated, but they also want to wear the rainbow flag and make money off of LGBTQ plus customers, sell LGBTQ plus merch, and, you know, have it both ways. But no, LGBTQ plus people need to put their foot down and say, if you're not going to support us unconditionally and unequivocally, you don't get to rep the fucking rainbow flag. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but we're going to call you out for it because you're funding politicians who are fucking over the lives of gay and trans people. You're donating to Republicans in states that have passed more trans bills than any other year in recent history. And yet you want us to believe that you support LGBTQ plus people? No, fuck you. You're trying to hijack pride to cash in on it. And I reject that. Every single gay person should reject this. And whenever a large multinational corporation does something like this and tries to virtue signal to cultivate goodwill with LGBTQ plus people, we need to call them out. And I love it because I saw Representative Pramila Jayapal, who I have my issues with on some issues, 
do exactly what I just advocated for. So she tweeted out in response to J.P. Morgan Chase making a pro-gay, pro-pride statement. She says this, J.P. Morgan Chase & Co. donated $41,727 to Mitch McConnell's 2020 campaign while he is actively blocking the Equality Act from becoming law. But nice pride post. She also says, what a fun pride display. But what's not fun is that American Airlines donated $46,617 to Mitch McConnell's 2020 campaign while he was actively blocking the Equality Quality Act from becoming law. And last one here, she says AT&T donated $56,295 to Mitch McConnell's 2020 campaign while he was actively blocking the Equality Act. But what a great pride Twitter banner. So I love the sarcasm there. Yeah, and that's just it. They want to wear the rainbow flag as they fuck us over. I mean, with friends like this, who needs enemies? Now, that's not to say that some companies aren't trying to do a good job, but still, you can't sit with us. To quote Mean Girls, you can't sit with us. Stop trying to take over something, especially if you're just LARPing as LGBTQ allies. You're not real allies if you're funding politicians that fuck over LGBTQ plus people. And whenever, every single June, we see these corporations change their logo to the rainbow flag, we have to call them out, look up the donations, see which politicians they contributed to, and call them the fuck out because this is disgusting. This is phony. It's fake. And I hate it. I, I absolutely, unequivocally reject this rainbow washing.